we intentionally stir the pot a little bit. So in other words, each of the groups has dedicated workspace. We put them all here on the four floors of Gross Hall, but we put some thought into which rooms they sit in. So in room 351, you have groups who in some sense are both thinking about ways to visualize complex social issues. I would describe a room 351 as chill, helpful, friendly atmosphere, fun, energetic. 351, well, I'd say that 351 is collaborative. We've talked to the other team a lot and have been getting along really well. At the beginning, we just sort of talked about like, oh, what's your project about? What's your project about? Okay, we have this metric, the Bechdel test, that we can actually apply in sort of this like statistical way. There have to be two named female characters. They talk to each other and they talk to each other about something other than a man. So there you have kind of how do you quantify art, like film, really complicated stuff. So we've been doing both uh, coding, like working in R with data on whether or not movies pass or fail the Bechdel test. I mean, we're trying to quantify this emotional reaction to photographs and how that has affected both journalism of the refugee crisis and how it's been documented. Yeah, no, I think at this point, we are basically one team because we both have to struggle with that challenge again of changing something that's qualitative into something that's quantifiable. So we're both looking at how like this small depiction of reality, whether it's a movie or a picture, is shaping like what people think about those groups in real life. The dynamic in the room is this interesting combination between like whimsical and dire. It's interesting how we can have fun and joke um, and also I think are always fully aware of, of sort of the, the stakes. So I've lived in Jordan for three years and like I've, I've like uh, visited the largest Syrian refugee camp in Jordan. So like I have some kind of experience with the refugees. So this topic really attracted me to like you know, build like further real connection and like keep in touch with like the refugee issues. We're trying to bridge this gap that isn't necessarily uh, obvious between a photograph and da data that can be analyzed and be in a linear regression or in these other types of data visualizations. If you don't sort of, if you can't digest these qualitative assessments, like here's, here's the numbers, you know, here's like the, here's what the numbers say about like who's being represented in these films and who's making them. Yeah, they're not mutually exclusive. Human sciences and data sciences are not mutually exclusive.